I got Brenna when she was a puppy and never realized Border Collies need a lot of attention. She's smart, athletic, and was bred to work. When it's my turn to carpool, things get really crazy. There's one of me and four or five of them. I'm flat out outnumbered. Unless Brenna could lend me a hand. She is looking for a job. Zach George, please help me turn Brenna into a kid hurting dog. Here's how Brenna's going to perfect the art of child wrangling. When it's time for school, Karen releases the kids into the yard where they're known to run about in a carefree frenzy. Karen gives Brenna the command and she runs out and herds each of them into a waiting vehicle. Go ahead and walk by yourself just real quick to the car. And you notice right here, she's not doing, she's not containing no, you. So come on back even... now. And then I want you to hold the ball. Okay. Her favorite thing in the world. And, and let's see what she does. Okay. So let's go ahead and walk to the, uh, to the car right now. Just, you know, you're letting her know, you, and you see completely different. And then you try and get around her and she's anticipating where you are. That is hurting. And we're going to use that to our advantage to kind of help keep an eye on Jason when you're going to the car. So this isn't so much about training a new trick as much as it is about catering to what our dogs want to do naturally. Jason has a backpack when you're going to school and when you're taking the kids to wherever, right? They have backpacks. Definitely, yep, yep. So, one way to teach her might be to put this in the backpack itself. So she, and we teach her, look, this is inside that backpack. If you want what's inside that backpack, you contain it. So in order to rein in these rugrats, Brenna will need to get interested in a backpack, then contain a child with a backpack, then finally to escort a group of children all wearing backpacks into an awaiting car. Your homework is going to be to teach Brenna to contain this bag with that ball in it, much like we saw just a moment ago. Okay. But I want you to really burn that into her brain that that's what I'm supposed to contain. Now when she does it, feel free to reward readily. Show her the ball first. Mm -hmm. Here's the ball. Good. Now the ball's in here. I want to see her going left to right, stocking it. By placing Brenna's currency, the ball, into a backpack, we've got her locked onto it, and now she's containing it. Now, we want to make sure that she's got it solid with Jason before we start introducing additional backpacks. Right. Look at this. Good job. <laughs> now, what if he were to kind of get off the path here? Would she be able to keep him contained? We'll see. Okay. Oh boy, look at, oh, nice job, look at this. Nice job. Now it's time for school and we'll see if Brenna can be a shepherd to all these little lost sheep. Okay guys, time for school, let's get our backpacks. All the kids put on their backpacks and make a break for freedom. In the wild, the kids fan out across the lawn, but lacking a leader or clear direction, they run about aimlessly and make no effort to get in the car to go to school. Ooh. It's time to release the hound. Brenna, come on, girl. Brenna springs into action and uses her own playfulness to infiltrate the pack. <laughs> Little do these kids realize that Brenna's circling instincts have taken over as she casually ushers them all into the car. Except, of course, for one straggler, the elusive Jason. But Brenna won't be denied on this day. First, she shows Jason she can keep up with his sugar rush. Then she shows off her street smarts by cutting him off at the pass. After minutes of high-speed pursuit, Jason finally gives in and heads toward the car. Sorry. 